That's it, little dude. Come on, just a bit farther. <laughs> Excellent splashage. <laughs> You're the vegan island chick. We met before, remember? You were sad because they sold that massage chair you were so into? Right. So, you like watching fountain diving too, huh? Oh, totally. It's so funny. I heard that last week some dude on a skateboard forgot to stop and he took a total wipe out in the water. I wish I'd seen it. <laughs> Soak five innocent bystanders. No way! So, so you want to go out sometime? Definitely. What are you doing tonight? Well, there's that new surf movie coming out, Teeth in the Reef. Whoa. It's like you're reading my mind, dude. At? Great. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing so fast, you gotta make the good times last. I'm 16, 16. Gotta make the good times last. Hey, I have an idea. Let's get some lemonade. Caitlin, you know Brad, don't you? Hi. Hey. You didn't tell me you got a job. Is it because you're embarrassed about that hideous uniform? You know I work here. Why are you humiliating me in front of Brad? Because it's fun. We'll have two large lemonades. Coming right up. If I had to wear a hat like that, I would feel like such a loser. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Aren't you doing an article for the online paper about part-time jobs? You should take a picture of Caitlin at hers. Yeah, great idea. Thanks. Hopefully it'll make the front page. Great. Here, take them. Touchy. Seriously. <laughs> it's her problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, Caitlin. Life is sweet, isn't it? Yeah, right. Shove over. I need to talk. What's up? Trisha is just a total pain in my butt. That's what. Why does she hate me? And why are you in here already? It's only 11.30. You know that hockey player for the Leafs, Ronan? He was in here shopping for stick tape, and I told him he sucked. Boo! Well, he did. I call three goals in a season pretty sucky. Ah, uh. oh, finally. You can't let her get to you. I know, but it's so hard. Gather round, my khaki sisters. Tonight we crown our new spokesmodel of style, our emissary of ensembles, our khaki girl. Being khaki girl would be so huge. I think I'd, like, die of pride. Can you die of that? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it, Kirsten. I'm Kristen! And now, now, girls, I'm off for lunch. Try not to claw at each other until I get back, capiche? <gasps> Hello! Love it! Love the hair, love the clothes, love you! You're signing up! Me? For what? For khaki girl, silly! Cool pierced girl, give her the deets. I'm out of here. Ugh, every year they pick a real girl to be on the posters. You should enter. This is so your thing. The winner gets a $500 shopping spree at the khaki barn. Shut up. I love free clothes. 
Where do I sign? <laughs> do you really think I could win? You're a shoe in <laughs> Hey, Lemonhead. Slumming it with your worker bee friends? Hi, Trisha. Actually, Caitlin's just been chosen to be the new khaki girl. Well, not yet, but the regional manager liked me. And I'd get a free shopping spree. Really? You can't sign up. I'm the new khaki girl. <laughs> not anymore. You're just entering because I'm into it. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. It's true, but it's not very nice. <laughs> See you later, Lemonhead. And you used to be friends with her? So if you win and you die of pride, can I have your halter top collection? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> I hope you die soon. Was that my outside voice? I'm having a lovely time too. Can I kiss you? Dude, you've got to get a date. You're looking at the new food demonstrator for roast Berkey Chunklets. A meat product made from roast beef and turkey, part white meat, part red. The perfect meal to serve your family. Just give me one. Mm -mm -mm. How about you store the extra meat at Stick It so I don't have to lug it up from storage in the basement? Cool. Wait, what's in it for me? All the free chunklets you can eat? Mmm. <laughs> okay, but you've got to help me with a little problem I'm having first. A guy problem. You've come to the master of guy problems. Shoot. Okay, dude. But you have to promise to keep it a secret. Done. Pinky swear? <laughs> Fine, forget it. So, I've got this date with Star tonight. Hot, freaky vegan chick. Nice. But here's the problem. I never kissed a girl. What was that? I never kissed a girl. What? I never kissed a girl before. <laughs> ow! Ow! Fizz out the nose. It's not funny, dude. <laughs> no, you're right. It's not. It's pathetic. I really like her. What if I screw things up? Okay, man, relax. Dr. Jonesy is in the house, and he's got a PhD in K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Really? After one day with me, you'll be the makeout master. Right. The perfect kiss is like a work of art. It has to be gentle, yet firm. Not too dry, but not slobbery. Spit swappage is encouraged. Whoa, that sounds pretty complicated. No, check it out, dude. It's easy. What are you doing? Nothing. Can a guy talk to his buddy and lick sauce off his hand? Man. Oh, spare me. So, what's going on? Jude's got a date with a hottie tonight. Ah, that is so great. What smells so good over here and where can I get some? No thanks, my stomach's already in knots. Frenemies are so incredibly stressful. Come on, we've got to get you ready to kick some khaki butt. Now about that kiss. <clears throat> oh right, do you mind? Oh what, was this some kind of guy bonding thing? Fine, come on Wyatt. Hey, I'm a guy. Fine, see you guys. Okay, using tongue is optional. Personally, I enjoy a little tonsil hockey now and then, but that's just me. And that's all there is to making out. Any questions? How do you know when a girl wants to be kissed? You'll know. She'll give you signs. What kind of signs? Well, it's all about body language. She'll probably lean in towards you, maybe even touch you. Then she'll part her lips slightly and close her eyes, and that's when you go in for the kill. Ah! Dude, what are you kissing me for? I thought I was reading the signs, man. So you know when to kiss the chick, dude? Yuck. Well, this is weird. So... Never happened. I'm going back to the stand. Don't forget to crank the cool up on this baby. No worries, dude. Later. Hi, Jude. Hmm? How's it going? Hey. What's happening? Nothing. And that's why I never wear shoes, unless I have to. Wow, you've got a really cool way of looking at stuff. 
Thanks. Come and get them. Roast burkey chunklets, fresh and hot. Uh, I should get back to Vegan Island before my customers give in to that chunklet guy and eat meat again. Besides, my butt's getting numb. Cool. Later. Yeah, what was I doing? Hmm. Oh, well. How long do you think he'll take? Well, it's down to just you and Two-Face over there. Shouldn't be much longer. I can't believe he didn't pick us. We are so khaki-rific. Why are you ruining this for me? Because I can. You know I have much better shopping skills than you. I can out-shop you in my sleep. <laughs> Prove it. Fine. How about a shop-off? Tonight, one hour before closing. Okay, but if Caitlin wins, you have to wear the lemon hat for one whole day. Cool. But if I win, Lemon Hat has to make me a free smoothie every time I'm in the mall for the next year. With a smile. Deal. Does this work for you? Uh, are you kidding me? I can't wait! Don't worry, I'm going to help you train. Good luck with that. Later, Lemon Head. What did you just do? Don't worry, I've seen you shop. You were born to be shopper girl. Khaki girl. Whatever, we can win. It's not just about the clothes. I can't let Trisha walk all over me again. Just do what I say and Khaki Girl is ours. Come on, we're officially in training. Meat Bits, get your Meat Bits here. I think I've found my calling. <clears throat> Those are for you, buddy. Are they dirty? No, it's First Love and Summer Crush. Aw, oh, man, they're chick flicks. Exactly. Watch and learn. There's a reason chicks love these movies. What is it? Dude, I don't know. I haven't seen them. But since you can't follow me on a date, they'll have to do. Nikki. Nikki. Clowns. Mandy. Gwen. Jen. Caitlin. Nikki. Caitlin. Trisha. Caitlin. New loser friends of Caitlyn. Oh, you stuck up little bit. Okay, who wants some chunklets, huh? Huh. I just wanted to make sure you knew who was going to win tonight. Aren't you forgetting who used to be the superior shopper? What's she talking about, Trisha? Before Trisha was friends with you guys, she used to shop with me. <gasps> Does the Albatross and Finch one-time only sidewalk sale ring a bell? <laughs> I broke my wrist at that sale, but I got that $70 pink synchro tank top for $5. Wow. Impressive. Just bring your A-game. Oh, I'll bring it. Let's go, girls. That was so intense. I didn't know you had it in you. There's a shopping spree on the line. <gasps> no junk food before the shop off. Smoothies and protein bars only. More for me. You kick her skinny, no pink tank top butt. Right, girls, I want a clean match. A drop bag or missed call is cause for disqualification. By the way, Trisha, fabulous shoes. Ready? Why is it so insanely cold in here? <laughs> Hands-free triple combo. <gasps> what are they doing now? It's down to the free shop event. Any improvised combination of skills will decide the winner. 
Shoulder sling, hands free conference call, credit card transaction into a walk off receipt, grab exit. Wow. You can take her. That shoulder sling was off center and she knows it. Good luck tonight. Must be for you. Wicked moves. Nervous yet? A three-bag quadruple text message call? I don't know if you can beat that. That's it. You are so dead. <gasps> no! Disqualified! Ladies and gentlemen, the new khaki girl is... Trisha! But she knew! Oh. Bummer. I'm late for my date. Tell Caitlin I'm sorry, Kay. Sure. <laughs> I saw what she did. Uh, you should have won. What difference does it make? She's the khaki girl now. She gets the shopping spree and she gets to humiliate me. Ugh, I hate that girl. Ow. Oh. My stomach is killing me. I don't feel so hot either. <laughs> Nikki, you're ice cold. Come on, let's get out of here. I want to go drown myself in junk food. Oh, don't talk about food. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go curl up and die. <laughs> uh, something's wrong with me. I think it was something I ate. Something like your nasty chunklets. Mm. There's nothing wrong with my chunklets. Chunklets are good. Everyone digs the chunklets. Nikki, open up. We really have to go. There's another bathroom in this mall. Find it. <laughs> Nick Jonesy, my chunklets didn't make you sick, did they? If your chunklets had anything to do with this, you're dead meat, buddy. <laughs> Ugh. This can't be my fault. I did everything right this time. I marinated the meat, cooked it to standard, Jude refrigerated it. Jude! Jude! Hmm. Oh! It is the chocolates, Jude! Love it. Love it. Love you. <laughs> My shirt! It's ruined! But I love the color. This is clutch time. Now hold it! Oh, stay in the game now! It's like an epidemic! <laughs> ah, where's Jude? His date! Aw, oh, dude. Dude, I'm scared. Okay. She's giving me the head tilt and touching my knee. All the signs are here. If I don't go for it, I might not get another chance. Okay, I'm going in. Come back! I've never barfed on a girl before! Give me another chance! What? Where is everybody? Huh? Gone back to Khaki Barn. Good news. We'll explain later. Caitlin. Love it. Love it. Jen, Trisha barked on Tom, and now I get to be the Khaki Girl. 
All right. This is so not fair. I won. <laughs> Oh, man. I knew I forgot something. Ron Rent-A-Cop says we could be under investigation for food poisoning. And I got fired! Again! Haven't we been punished enough? I puked in my girlfriend's mouth. Well, she's not my girlfriend now. On the bright side, she did let you kiss her. Hey, yeah, that's true. Dude. Jude. And my picture's gonna be up in the store, but only in the change rooms. Still, how lucky am I that I didn't eat any of those chunklets? I'll let you know when my fever breaks. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Trisha, nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Caitlin. She's so got it coming. I think I'll go easy on her. Sharing the shame of the lemon hat is humiliation enough. My girl. Hey, where's Nikki? She had to open the khaki barn today. Apparently the clones went looking for the washrooms yesterday and have been missing ever since. <gasps> we never, ever speak about this night again. Ever. Oh, so never speaking about it.